Hello out there. So once you've gotten this far <clears throat> with your unit fractions, you might be ready for page 42 and 43, fractions greater than 1. I'm going to cut these out, put them here. <clears throat> page 44, 45, fractions greater than 2. So I'll just leave this here, leave this here, uh, pause it, and show you the next step. Alright, so I already made a mistake and I cut them and I just let the things fall all over the place. So be, try to be organized when you cut these. So half, half, thirds, fourths, fifths, uh, sixths, and that's it for that side. Over here are going to be sevenths, eighths. Oh, wait, are those tenths? Those are tenths. These are eighths. Eighths, sevenths, eighths, ninths, tenths, elevenths, and twelfths. All right, so now that I have those placed, now carefully, without uh, creating a gust of wind or anything, because if I sneeze, those are going to fly right off the table. All right, so now I'm going to glue these down. I do. Halves. Halves are here. Okay. Just want to make sure these line up pretty well. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to do this. Be right back. So another thing I realized is if I put them all face down and I, I pick them up one by one and put the glue on it, now they're ready to just be picked up and placed. Uh, one thing about putting glue on these, I recommend spreading it around. Because if you have glue in just a little area, it won't. Uh, it has a, a greater likelihood of falling out of the book. This is not a big deal. You can always, if one falls out, you can always glue it back in there. Um, so so far, I have you know these. I have these uh, five. Yeah, I have these five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't. I don't have the one hole because, well. It, it's a, these are all mixed fractions, what we call mixed fractions. Um, some people call them, oh, we're going to do something, and some people call uh, them improper fractions because they, um, as you'll see, these fractions are going to have numerators that are greater than one. Um, all right, so, yep, almost done. Um, just thought, I thought I would show you how much faster it is to do this. To glue them all first, and yep, to glue them all first, and then just place them. All right. So now, so what are we looking at when we say, you know, this? That is a uh, a one like one whole circle. So it's one. Uh, this I think. All right. So this is a half. That's a half. Because if you have two halves that is a whole two halves right that half that half but this half over here that makes it one and one half okay another way to think of it is <clears throat> one half plus one half plus another half equals one and one half and you don't have to do that i call that a super giant one uh, i may have gotten that from someone uh, but we, yeah, in general, this is called one and one half. So I'm going to take the pink marker and yeah, color that one, one and one half. We'll do a, I think a drop shadow looks kind of cool. A drop shadow for that. All right, so I'm going to repeat that for the other two. Uh, again, we have one third, one third, one third, one third. One third plus another third plus another third would make, that's one whole, right? Because that's three thirds. Three thirds is a super giant one. Uh, however, there aren't three thirds, right? There's this one here, so that's another one third. So one, two, three, four. Four thirds, there's three thirds here, and another one third. And that's one and one third. I realize that in doing this, I'm skipping a step. Oh, oops, not that one. I'm skipping a step that I need to uh, I need to fix that. So 
here I read to you a third, a, th a third, a third, a third. That's four thirds. So four thirds is actually, I guess I could squeeze it in here. Yep, four thirds, right? Because there's one, two, three, four thirds. Here, same thing. Can I squeeze this in? Maybe I'll just make a big bar here. Oops. All right, so it's uh, one, two, three halves, one, two, three halves, three halves equals uh, one on one half. So maybe for these, what I'll do, I'll just do a color outline. All right, four thirds, one, two, three, four thirds. Uh, and then I'm going to continue through. You know, this is this is four fourths and another fourth, so there's five fourths. Uh, one, two, three, four, five fifths, and another is six fifths. So I'm going to continue with this, uh, and I won't, you know, you don't have to follow along as I do this, um, but I will make a, I'll take a snapshot of it so you can uh, continue on your own. All right. See you later.